Hi everybody, Coach I am Nava here once again and we are going to analyze one of the best game happened in round number 5 between Wesley So and Pragnananda in this uh, ongoing Superbet Chess Classic Romania. At the end part of this video, I will show you the standing. Wesley played D4, Prag played Knight of 6, C4, G6, G3, Pianketo system, Bishop G7, Bishop G2, Castles, Knight C3, D6, and Knight F3. And we have the King's Indian Fianchetto battle on the board. Now, A5. Interesting move. Normally, black plays Knight C6 in the common line. And also Knight BD7 approaching the uh, Gallagher variation. But let us see the A5. Castles, Bishop F5 intending to play Knight E4 later on. Development with uh, Purpose and Knight H4. Putting some annoying pressure and threat. Towards the b7 and uh, bishop on f5. That's why Prague decided to go back with bishop c8. Now b3. And this move was the novelty of this game. Uh, normally, in the common lines, knight f3 has been played. h3 and e4. Okay, let's go back with the novelty. b3, knight bd7, bishop a3. Another interesting move. If I were the white pieces, I would simply play bishop b2 to oppose the fianchetto bishop. So that is very normal. But here, bishop a3, e5, and Wesley took the pawn, knight takes e5, queen c2. Simple development, but uh, one of the most important uh, principle in the opening is to connect the rook each other. Okay, knight c6, what is the idea to play knight d4 or knight b4? And of course... Put the rook towards the center. Okay, don't forget that principle in the opening. Rook a d1, then bishop d7. Now h3 to support the g4 square and also to get some room for the king. And rook e8, develop king h2, prophylactic move, waiting. Knight b4, then queen d2. Of course, do not exchange uh, too early the bishop to knight and uh, a takes b4. Let's say knight d5, knight takes d5, then bishop takes d5. And uh, pawn on a2 becomes too weak. Later on, like for example, rook a7, queen e7, then rook a8, the pawn a2 will be the long-term target, the long-term problem for white. Okay, so let's go back with queen d2. Now bishop c6, trying to exchange the strong fianchetto bishop and bishop b2. Simple move, but with the idea of neutralizing the knight on b4. Now knight a6, knight d5, knight c5, threatening knight c e4, queen c2, and knight takes d5, c takes d5, bishop b5, okay, threatening rook takes e2. Rook f e1, simply to protect, and uh, bishop takes b2, queen takes b2, and a4. Of course, Prague wants to create some pressure and attack along the a-file. And now knight f3, of course, the principle of worst piece. So Wesley noticed that his knight on h4 has no longer purpose on the other side. So he played knight f3, uh, maybe to play knight d4 with some purpose. Now, a takes b3, a takes b3, and knight e4, threatening the pawn on f2, then simply e3 to protect it. Now, bishop d7. Queen c2, simple move, but white has rook c1 coming to attack the c7. That's why Prague decided to play c5 uh, to get the pawn uh, becomes strong, but Wesley took the pawn with n passant. b takes c6, and knight d4 to attack the knight. At the same time, to attack the pawn on c6, but uh, simple queen e7 to support it, now f3. So, you might have some question like, what if knight takes c6? Then, black responds with bishop takes, queen takes, and simple knight takes f2. So, that is uh, not good for white. So, let's go back with the position. That's why uh, Wesley played f3, then knight c5 to block the threat, and e4. So why not b4? Let's say b4 to uh, remove the knight and to have knight takes e6. Ah, okay. So black has knight a6. And if knight takes e6, bishop takes e6, queen takes e6, and knight takes b4. So simply equalizes for black. Okay? So let's go back with e4. 
And rook b8, of course, always look for your opponent's weak point. This pawn is the weak in the white's position. So f4, threatening to play e5 in the right timing. So rook b4, intending to play rook a b8, pile up, battery. Rook e3 to support immediately the pawn. Now rook b8, e5, of course, d5 to maintain the solidity of the pawn. Now rook c3. Forcing knight to go back with knight e6. Knight takes, bishop takes, rook takes, then rook takes b3, and rook c8 check. To simplify the rook, rook takes c8, queen takes c8, king g7, and rook takes d5. It was declared bad move by computer engine. But look at the evaluation bar. It seems like not just only one question mark on that move. It considered as blunderacious, blundered move. Because of the evaluation bar. Now, better was bishop takes d5. Then rook b2, then simply go back bishop g2. Equalizes the evaluation bar. Okay? Now, let us go back with rook takes d5. Then Pragnananda played queen b4. And he missed a big shot. Now, can you please guess that big shot that has been missed by Pragnananda? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think. Then after that, I will show you that move. Start. Thank you so much for your effort. Queen a7 is the brilliant move. Simple but terrible. What's the idea? To play rook b1, then threatening mate. To play rook b2. To play queen e3, attacking the pawn on g3. Those are the major threats. So what if queen c1 to cover up the queen e3 coming, the rook b2, the rook b1, but we have queen f2. Unstoppable attack. Okay, and uh, based on the continuation, queen f1, queen takes g3 check, King h1 and knight takes f4. So, and let's say rook d7. Then we have rook b2. Another strong forcing move. So, threatening rook takes g2. So, the light squared bishop cannot move because of the coming queen h2. Mate. White is in sugswang and white loses the game. Okay. So, queen a7 is the killing move. But let us go back with the actual game. Queen b4 has been played. And queen c1, good move. Retreat immediately. Rook b2, then rook d3. So Wesley saw survived all those dangerous threats. Now, rook e2, rook e3 to simplify the rook. And knight takes f4. So brilliant move, but still the evaluation bar is equal. And we have the same number of pawns, so there's no big problem for white. Um, knight d4, then queen f6 check, and Wesley saw survive with this perpetual check. So cannot play queen f8 because of queen takes d4. So king g7, then queen f6. What a lucky survival by Wesley saw. Okay? <laughs> he is totally losing. Now let us see the standing after round number 5. Who is the leading? Okay, Fabiano Caruana with 3.5 points, Pragdananda and Gukesh with 3 points, MVL, Wesley So, Nepo, Feruja with 2.5 points, and Abdul Satorov, Giri, 2 points, and Bogdan with just only 1.5 points. Okay, so that's all for today's uh, round number 5 report. Thank you so much. I hope you learned from this game. If you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe and follow our Facebook page, Kamachas. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.